the bigger questions I get about this match lock whenever I talk to people about it is about how the mechanism functions, and it's incredibly simple. Uh, it's so simple that it was the cheapest option they had up until, well, even before, after the flint lock came out, it was still cheaper. It's just the flint lock's more reliable. But uh, I'm going to show you real quick, if you'll uh, give me a second, how since I'm taking it apart anyways for today's YouTube video, how the... Uh, the mechanism works. Here we go. So I've already taken the barrel off. I did that in the video and I, I'm going to put this back on there to show you how uh, it works. There's a couple of screws that go through here, right? And that's what holds it to the actual stock. So we'll just take this off. And on the other side of it, you see, it's very simple. It's just uh, kind of a hole there and a, a little piece that holds the, the sear bar. I've got a screw through here or a bolt so I can adjust the tightness because that um, is you know how hard the trigger bar is to pull or not it's based on the tightness of that and then a screw usually they would just pin this in but I went ahead and put a screw in it because seeing as this is the first one I built I went through lots of variations of the parts and I wanted to be able to disassemble it as I was learning how um, so it's just a, a bar there you can see with two little lips on either end and so this one feeds up through the piece here that I've manufactured underneath there and catches. So right here is, you know, there's a spring. If you watch the video, you'll see that I didn't follow a historic on, on that part, uh, really much of any of it, but there because uh, quite frankly, it was a lot easier just to use a, a coil spring, which are cheap and easy to find. So I just um, essentially use a coil spring to push down on the trigger bar so it holds it in the um, open position and then when you push up on the trigger bar it catches on this and pushes that down and then when you let go of the trigger bar the spring pushes it back into position there so it's very simple how how that works and um, outside of the spring which usually they would use a flat spring inside the mechanism somewhere but outside of the spring that's essentially how they how they functioned uh, you see there I some of them had like fish or whatever, and I kind of did that when there's a little bit of rust on it. But that's normal when you're dealing with black powder. You're going you're gonna to have rust. It's um, part of it. But anyway, so that's, uh, that's how the mechanism works.